The race for Oakland mayor is another big one to watch tonight. There are 10 candidates on the ballot with ranked choice voting, making things pretty interesting. So here's a look at the latest results we have coming in right now. Lauren Taylor, 35% in the lead. Shang Tao, 29%, with Ignacio De La Puente at 13%. This for mayor of Oakland. And the campaign watch party for city councilman Lauren Taylor is happening right now. And Wilson Walker is there to give us kind of the mood on what's happening. Wilson. Well, we can we can speak directly with the man of the hour, Councilman Taylor. But you said tonight is not a night to declare victory. Uh, but that heard a lot of optimism and a lot of talk about the next four years. Absolutely. Tonight I am grateful, I am humbled, and I am hopeful. I, I, the numbers are rolling in the way that we anticipated they would, and so I'm eager to see them continue to flow in that same way. But uh, really, I am just optimistic about the future of Open. We have an incredible opportunity right now, and I'm excited to be in a position to help lead my town forward. As a hometown kid, I am grateful for this opportunity to step up and uh, humbled by all of the Oaklanders who have stepped up, who have really propelled this campaign forward in a way that we you know, we are moving uh, so far ahead, and there's just so much that uh, is left in store for us. Uh, you know, a lot of polling about 60-something uh, you know, percent of Oaklanders feel like the city's on the wrong track. Uh, we all know what the sort of the main problems are, homelessness and crime and clutter in the streets. It's a lot to take on. Absolutely. It is absolutely a lot to take on. And there are many people who are giving up, giving up on Oakland and our ability to solve these challenges. Uh, and I am not ready to give up on the town. I am here to make sure that we do deliver for all Oaklanders, get past these uh, difficult times. I know we can. I know we will. And clearly our message of being able to do that in a very deliberate, pragmatic way, but still aligned to our progressive values, that has resonated and is resonating with voters. And I'm optimistic that that's what we will see once all the ballots are counted. Thank you for the time. All right. So there we have it. A, a man who a, is certainly comfortable with where he sits tonight with us with a segment of this vote in. He himself acknowledged that it might be a long night or several long days of counting votes. But, but you can see the optimism on Lauren Taylor's face tonight. We will throw it back to you in the studio. He also wants to see the process continue and see it through. All right, Wilson, thank you. Now, Taylor is facing off with fellow council members, and one of them is Shang Tao or Da Lin, covering that part of the campaign for us. Da. Yeah, down but not out. That's the mood here at Shing Tao's election watch party. Now, Councilwoman Tao says it is still early. She's not too worried. She's only down by a little less than six percentage points. That's what the latest results are showing. Now, still a lot more ballots to count. That's how her camp puts it. Still a lot of supporters left here. Some folks have left, but still a good number, number of people here talking and um, just chatting about it here. Earlier, Shang Tao thanked her campaign volunteers for their hard work. She's been campaigning for a year as she talked about the toll on her family. I have an amazing partner who really takes care of our kids while I'm out campaigning and so I'm pretty sure that he's going to be happy that he gets a break now from taking care of the kids and not just that but it's nice. I'll be able to um, you know visit with family again what have you but again yes I am tired right now. <laughs> However sleep is for tomorrow. Yeah, she's going to be up for quite a while just to look at the updated results. The elections office will continue to release updated results throughout the evening and the morning hours. And because it's ranked choice voting, it might take a few days for Oakland to find out who that new mayor might be. We're now live here. Oh, in fact, you can see, we can kind of um, go a little, a little longer right here. You got Shane right here. In fact, let me know if you guys want to wrap up. But here in one sec. Shang, we're live right now. Let's let's come here and talk to us really quickly. So, Shang, you're still here. You're still feeling confident. Absolutely. What's going through your mind right now? I know we have some election numbers there. I understand the new results just came out uh, not too long ago. You are still down just a little under six percentage points. How do you feel? We are closing the gap, and there's so many more votes to be counted. And so still feeling optimistic. I'm just so grateful to be here with both of my kids, Benedict and Brooklyn, and my partner, Andre, as well. As my team, my, my team has just, we just ran an amazing race. And so I'm just really proud to be here.
I know you talked about a year of campaigning. How do you feel about this campaign? Any regrets? Zero regrets. We did everything we could. We knocked on doors, thousands of doors. I myself knocked on about probably 10,000 doors. My whole team and all of our volunteers. We ran a positive campaign and we ran a campaign on facts. And I am so proud of everyone who has been a part of this people power, worker, working family powered campaign. Lastly, I know there are supporters watching on TV. I wonder what's the message to them at this point? As you mentioned, still a lot more votes to go. What's that message to those supporters? I just want to say to my supporters, thank you so much for all the support that you've shown, hosting all those house parties, and hope is the key word here. We're going to turn the page onto a new chapter in the city of Oakland, and I'm excited to see what, uh, what's uh, being held out there in the future because we know that we, can, we deserve a leader who can roll up their sleeves to get the work done. And so I'm excited. Thank you so much, Councilwoman Tao. Thank and you. as you, the key word hope, the hope is they can close the gap down by just a little under six points. We shall see. So we're now live here in West Oakland at Shane Tao's election party. I'll send it right back to you guys. John, thanks. Ryan Yamamoto.